good afternoon. A bit late in the afternoon for my riding. Normally out a bit earlier. But it's still cool. The frost have just gone. And we're out just for a an hour to an hour and a half. Keeping local as we are requested to do. Which for me, I live in a small village. Nearest village is four or five kilometres away, six maybe. Uh, so what I've done is I've got the map and circled a radius of eight kilometres and I intend just to stay in that radius of eight kilometres. And we'll see how it goes. I'm used to going out long rides of 100 to 160 kilometres long so keeping in short space will be a bit strange so it'll be new for me too well happy new year first video since the new year and uh, like everybody else I've been mostly on the door trainer reason being ice even though the sun's been out been a lot of ice uh, this last few days we've had temperatures as low as minus six in my local area so yeah I'll put you down for now and we'll catch up later I don't know about anybody else but I'm finding it difficult to try and lay plans for this next this year I've got some things in mind but a couple of them were to be before March and one of them's in my March birthday uh, I'm not knowing how long this long lockdown's going to be uh, at the moment I think it will be took right up to March. It's pretty serious. Uh, I'm just making sure I don't have contact with other people. In fact, the most dangerous thing I do at the moment is go shopping. Uh, people are almost sitting on top of you while you're shopping, getting your goods. Won't leave you any space. Not good, is it? Anyhow. I'm going past a place called Skipwith Skipwith Common uh, It's here on my left This has become very popular with uh, families are walking over the uh, periods of lockdown uh, and isolation it's quite a long way I mean you get people coming from um, York which isn't too far it's about nine miles away I would think I uh, actually saw somebody and I had a word from with them just just after Christmas and uh, and they'd come all the way across from Bradford to camp overnight in the camper van which I didn't think was really on that much hello uh, we're coming up to the car parks where they park the cars for the walks you'll be able to see how busy it is normally on a Sunday you would only see three or four cars on the car park on the left and maybe one two on the car park on the right which is an overflow car park. So here we go, I'll show you. 
Thank you. Not as many this Sunday. And then the others overflow. This is Bubworth we're going through now. Tidy little village. As you can see, the roads are empty. <laughs> I'll come up to a shop after this bend, and this shop is normally crowded with cars, both sides of the road. I wonder if today. The road on the right is the road I was going to take to Brayton. However, I'm sure it will be flooded. I'm not going to take the chance. There you go, past the shop. Normally there's lots and lots of uh, cars here. Nice to know that the jug and bottle is open for takeaways. Don't need it, I've brought a, I've brought a flask of drinking chocolate out with me just to warm me up. I've, I stopped just at the traffic lights at the bridge. Had a cup of drinking chocolate that was after that was after riding 50 minutes that should get me home but I have some in reserve so in case I want a bit of warm drink Will it off? About 30 minutes left of ride time. Unless I decide to go a little bit further. I'm feeling good, my legs feel strong. Well, I've been doing a lot of hard rides on the turbo trainer, but they've been short ones 35, 40, 45 minutes. Hard sweet spot training with some uh, VO2 max efforts. So today, really just out about getting some fresh air. Also, maintaining the feel for the road. Always feels different. 
can't replicate everything on a turbo trainer and the most, most important thing is saddle time not, not the speed being able to sit on the saddle for hours and hours at a time and that's what goes missing over winter and on turbo what I am missing is my social rides I've not been on a social ride since March unbelievable but when all this business corona, coronavirus business is over we'll still be there as long as everybody survived Am I allowed to cycle with one other person? Who should it be? I might as well be out on my own. And to be honest, I don't mind solo riding. It's quite good. Ride at your own pace. Not having to wait up for somebody or the other way around, which is more often with me. Trying to keep up with people slow down quite a bit in my old age really tough farm used to get Eilish for our horses from there Elder Farm sorry really tough Elder Farm Nice people. Dump of a farm like, but oh, nice people. There's a bungalow on the right where they live. again well we've come to the end of my ride I've managed to do 36 kilometers uh, which is uh, 22 and a half miles ride two hours which was my intention two hours ride seat time which included my drinking chocolate break however everything good thing comes to an end if you liked my video, get to the buttons down below and subscribe if necessary. If you'd like to, of course. Now, until next time, stay safe, ride safely, and, and bye.